to another video here on Loud and Proud. So, in the OBS, we're gonna be going to do some farm slash deer work today. Need to get some progress done. I have not been out in the woods much other than like one time this whole summer. And our deer season opens up in six weeks because we have an urban zone property, which means we can start hunting a little bit early. So, um, we gotta go get this done. But guys, I'm telling you what, the amount of looks you get in this truck, unbelievable. So many people just staring this thing down. I don't know if it's the wheels, if it's just that the fact that it's a rust-free OBS or what, but people freaking love this thing. And also, how big are the two fuel tanks? I know that I just filled the front one back up because I was at about a half tank. And when I was at about a half tank, it took about, I wanna say it was either, I thought it was 12 or 14 gallons just to fill it up the other half of the front tank. So how big are the tanks? Are they both the same size? Is one bigger than the other? Let me know. I wanna talk about something that I wasn't gonna bring up unless the deal went through for sure, but I'm just gonna bring it up anyway so you guys know what's going on. If you follow Whistlin' Diesel on Instagram, you know that he put his black 04 Dually up for sale. It was his dad's truck. He bought it off him, slightly abused it, but then pretty much dumped a ton of money into it to make it really sweet. He wanted $30,000 for the truck. Truck was for sale a few days. I kind of was like, ah, 30 grand for a third gen with 225,000 miles on it. That's a ton of money for that truck. And then I got to thinking, I'm like, well, it does have forces on it. He did just dump thousands of dollars into drivetrain stuff, suspension stuff, powder coating, all kinds of crap. But still, it's $30,000 for a third gen. Well, I messaged him and I asked him what he would take, he sent him an offer. He said, not gonna take it. I have somebody else who's gonna come buy the truck. I said, okay, no problem. I buy this truck. I said, okay, then I'm gonna go buy another truck that I have my eye on. You know, just kind of like, thanks for your time, so to speak. I go buy this truck, he sends me a message two hours after I buy it and says, do you still want the truck? I'll sell it to you for that price. I said, you gotta be joking. I said, dude, I just bought a truck. I said, but I'll still give you that same price, but you're gonna have to hold the truck for me a little bit because we just dumped a ton of money into the business, into this truck, our own inventory, and just all this other stuff. Like, we paid out cash for tons of stuff. We usually don't have that many expenses going out at one time. I'm like, dude, ordinarily, I would just go buy the truck anyways, even though I just bought this one, but we just dumped a ton of money and I really don't want to spend all that money right now. I'm like, if you can hold it a little bit, we've got a deal. He said, send me 500 bucks. I'll hold the truck and market is sold. If you come up and pick the thing up within 30 days, it's yours. I'm not saying it's a done deal yet because he doesn't have the remaining cash in hand, but I did send him some money on PayPal and we locked it in and he said, you've got 30 days to come get the truck. I mean, that's where we're at. If I don't buy it, he just keeps the 500 bucks that I put down on it. So I may have a different truck that I'm gonna be driving day to day. I don't know, we'll see. So right now I'm gonna be getting on the tractor. I'm gonna start to clean up some of this uh, tall grass along the driveway, maybe bush hog some of this. And then what we're gonna be working on is some um, deer management stuff, so some bush hogging, some rototilling, some chainsaw work, all that stuff. So we're on our way, headed over to have uh, dinner with my wife and my great aunt. There's gonna be some people that are asking like, why probably about the whistling diesel truck thing. Dude, why on earth would you pay basically $30,000 for a truck that you've seen get messed with on his channel that's like doing fish tailing with a gooseneck on it, hauling his Monster Max and flooring it. Burnouts at the truck meet. I watched it doing a burnout at the Fort Wayne truck meet. All kinds of stuff. Believe it or not, you can't tell in his pictures because the doors cover the rockers on the third gen, but the rockers are toasted. You know, it's over 200,000 miles and everything. It's not necessarily that the truck is going to be worth that in terms of appraisal value, but there is a plus side, and that's clout. And when I say that, I mean that very literally. It's gonna be more of like a, a strategic move for us, and the hopes are gonna be that the truck basically will bring more and new viewers to the channel to help shed light on what we're doing over here and possibly create some more long-term viewers. That's gonna be the hopes, so we'll see what happens. I could buy the truck and nothing could happen and I just have an overpriced third gen, but the hopes are that it does really good for the channel and for the business. All done. I haven't done any video of this thing with all the lights on yet. He said that everything is LED, the corner lights, turn signals, I mean the cab lights, everything is LED. It looks really good. And I didn't mention this before because I wasn't sure how big the lift was, but it's actually a six inch and it's rolling on 35 by 1350s and 24s. It is day number three of this video, so uh, yeah, long vlog. Not long in terms of footage, but uh, long 
getting the pieces to the video. We are gonna actually unhook the 20 foot car hauler right now and I might try to, I wanna test the four wheel drive on this truck. Why I wanna test the four wheel drive on this truck is because it's got 24 inch wheels on it. I haven't tested the four wheel drive yet and it kinda makes me a little bit nervous as to how it works. It should work totally fine but I wanna test it for myself. bit of a uh, nervous uh, about that <laughs> it's, it's getting pretty dark out so all my goal is really gonna be right now is I want to see if the four-wheel drive works so I figured I would take the OBS back over to this hill over here it's not a very big steep slope but it's enough to test whether or not the four-wheel drive works now this thing does ride really good for an OBS but it's still bouncy you know truck does fit across here but it's really tight and if you miss the bridge I don't know if you can see that but it's actually like an eight foot drop right into a ditch I think I can get through without it scraping on anything though very close but we cleared so there's a hill over there we're gonna see uh, how this thing does it really rides good though. I'm telling you, it rides really soft. This is what we're trying to beat right here. Rain. And we're supposed to get a lot of it too. So I'm gonna just turn over here and see if it will go up in rear wheel drive up this hill. Now this thing is pretty freaking steep, so I'm a little bit nervous, but we'll see. If it doesn't go up, we're gonna test the four-wheel drive. Dang, it just crawled right up. That's crazy. Everything's so dry right now, though, it's not really like a great representation of, you know, whether or not the 4x4 works. Because everything's so dry that two-wheel drive will do just fine anyway. You know, if you had some mud and you were going down the hill, you'd end up right in that pond. Turn the back around here. I'm gonna get a view with the camera setting out so you can see the truck going up the hill. Guys, I'm so torn on what kind of content to film sometimes. Like, I know what I have the most fun doing, and then I also have days where I'm like, is that really what I want to film? I don't know. You know, I want to be able to film content that like gets me excited, because if it doesn't get me super excited, then chances are it's not gonna get you guys excited. Part of me likes doing stuff like what we did with the budget build Chevy and the budget build mud truck when we bought that first gen Cummins that was like all rusted out, but the four wheel drive and transmission worked just fine. We took a mudding and we put a cheap DIY snorkel kit on it. We chopped the fenders out and put mud tires on it. Like you guys love that series. That series of videos, quite a few views on it. I mean, it's pretty well, it's a pretty well watched playlist and like burying it in the river and stuff like that. I like doing that kind of stuff because I feel like there's no stress in making it and it's just a completely laid back, chill type of video because it's all just fun. Like I don't have to perfect anything. It's just kind of like whatever happens, happens. Screw it, let's go for it. I'm trying to decide and I want to hear back from you guys. What do you guys want to see more of? Would you rather see more like activity based stuff that's more like challenging trucks? Like how far can this truck go before this breaks? Or how far can we go through this river before this gives out? Or how long can we do a burnout before this pops? You know what I'm saying? Like stuff that's more like, how do I put it? That's a little bit less predictable. My wife is giving away a 2005 LLY Duramax, but that gives giveaway ends in 48 hours on Thursday and the giveaway and so if you haven't done so yet and you want to enter to win her Duramax I'll leave her link down in the top of the description every five dollars you spend on her gear anything on the site counts 
Every $5 gets you 10 entries towards winning that truck. It ends on Thursday. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, keep me up to date with what you guys want to see on the OBS Ford so we can get stuff coming in for this truck. And like I said, comment down below what kind of content you guys want to see the most. And uh, we want to try to get you guys taken care of on that end. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.